All right, what's going on, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Za. And we are Real Time. Today, we have another movie for Movie Week. This one is a highly requested one on the channel for a while now, Legally Blonde. I've never seen this movie before. I have not either. I have seen this movie. That's uh, the first. Surprise. Yeah. Yeah, I have seen this movie. I only, I think I've seen it twice a really long time ago. You like it from what you remember? Yeah, it was, it was fun. It was, it was good. Um, Reese Witherspoon's the main character, I'm pretty sure. Yeah excited to watch it again because it has been like i said a really really long time since i've watched it just like based off of the title and like the the movie poster and stuff that i've seen like from the actual movie or like scenes from the actual movie um i would say i would guess this is like kind of similar to clueless vibe and like uh sort of and like maybe like mean girls like that type of era and like age range i don't know like high school yeah, this movie, uh, you're, you're not far off saying, like, sort of similar, like, Clueless or, like, White Chicks. A little bit, I wouldn't say quite the same, but definitely, like, similar. Same time period, I think, early 2000s. Feeling like more of, like, a probably fun movie. Yeah. Uh, not something I'm going to have to be thinking too much about. Yeah. All right, guys, that's pretty much it, though. Before we get into it, if you do enjoy Movie Week and these movie reactions, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Over 81% of you guys are currently not subscribed. Take three seconds if you can. Hit that subscribe button. Greatly helps us out. We can do more of these movie weeks for you guys, um, so we really appreciate that. Also, check the links in the description. The first one is the Patreon. Like I said at the beginning, this is Movie Week, so all these movies have been uh, went up on Patreon um, a week ago for early access. We do that all the time, put up um, movies and shows for early access and the full watch along. And then on top of that, our movie night that we do weekly over there, you guys can vote for what movies we do every single week, as well as get two week early access for all of them. So make sure to go check that out. Uh, the second link is the Discord. Come talk to us about Legally Blonde, all the movies we're doing. Make sure to go join that. Really appreciate that. Uh, the third link is the merch. Go ahead and cop some of that. We got some cool sweatshirts, shirts, uh, stickers, mugs. So go check that out if you guys want. And the last links are our social medias. Give us a follow on Twitter and Instagram. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get into it. Legally Blonde movie reaction. Let's go. L. Oh, I told you there's pups in the place. She's, wow. She's about to be so bougie, bro. There she is. That's Reese. Yep. Good luck tonight, Ellen Warner forever. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. Who's Warner? Uh-oh. Oh. That looks old. Oh, they're talking about. You know he got the rock. Why else would she have flown over to Newport? It's not like she'd fed a six carat diamond. Yeah. She's, they think she's getting proposed to. Mm -hmm. Aw, I'm gonna really like this thug. He's proposing. I, I can't look like I would on any other date. This is the date. The date. And I don't always remember. There's nothing I love more than a dumb blonde with daddy's plastic. Damn. <laughs> Daddy's plastic. Is this low viscosity rayon? Uh, yes, of course. With a half loop top stitching on the hem? Absolutely. It's one of a kind. It's impossible to use a half loop top stitching on low viscosity rayon. It was oh. made out of fabric. And you didn't just get it in. I saw it in the June bug a year oh, ago. Oh, damn. For full price, you picked the wrong girl. Absolutely torn. Holy shit. Let's go. I'm so she's pumped. Not, I mean, at least in regards to fashion, she's not dumb. I think she. everyone might think she is, but she's really smart. You look so beautiful. So do you. What? You're all so beautiful. Why are their friends just watching? I don't know. This is a odd... The audience? ...situation. I don't know. Oh my god, there's <laughs> so many girls watching. I feel like this is all just set up for something bad to happen. You always ha think negative like that. I love it. I'm the negative guy. Zuff's the po well, Zuff's the Zuff's the guy. One of the reasons I wanted to come here tonight was to discuss our future. Yeah, dude. I think mean, he's breaking up with her. You know how we've been having all kinds of fun lately. Yeah. Well, Harvard is gonna be different. What's gonna be different about it? If I'm gonna be a senator by the time I'm thirty, I need to stop dicking around. <laughs> you stop dicking around. I, think I we do. Break up. <laughs> yeah. Why would you? I, I feel like taking someone out to like a really nice restaurant like yeah. this to break up with them is mean. I don't know. I thought you were proposing. Propo 
suppose. <laughs> L. If I'm gonna be a senator, well, I need to marry a Jackie, not a Marilyn. <laughs> so you're breaking up with me because I'm too blonde? Oh, I've heard that's that a, before. That's a, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I, I, I do love you. I, uh, <clears throat> I just can't marry you. Wow, it's so shallow. My brother's in the top three at Yale Law. My brother's in the top three at Yale Law School. What the? All right, now <laughs> it's a bit. Let's let's be respectful of the other people trying to eat their dinner, okay? Okay, you get the car. Uh, <laughs> I'll get the check. Yeah, you you just don't do that if you're gonna break up. You're breaking up with me because you're afraid your family won't like me. Everybody likes me. Well, East Coast people are different. I need someone serious. I'm seriously in love with you. Oh, I feel bad for her. I know. Me too. She like what? He's being shallow as shit. Honey, you have to leave this room. It's been like a week. So? Oh, it's been a week and she's still like this? Oh my god. Do you know who this is? No. That's Warner's older brother. Oh. The Yale guy. First year, Yale Law. This is the type of girl that Warner wants to marry. Does she want to transfer? Law student. Oh, she's gonna be a law student. Oh, I, I get you it. This girl is gonna legally have a heart to heart. blonde. Zuff, legal. Oh yeah. Law. Why are you gonna throw that all away? Going to Harvard is the only way I'm gonna get the love of my life back. She wants to go to law school just to get her boyfriend. Back. How can is it just? Can you just go to Harvard? And, I don't know if you can just go to law school. Yeah, I feel like it's, there's a lot of shit you gotta do. Oh, she wants to go to Harvard Law School. That's right, but that's a top three school. Oh, I have a 4.0. Your major is fashion merchandising. <laughs> Harvard won't be impressed that you aced history of polka dots. <laughs> <laughs> I once had to judge a tidy whitey contest for Lambda Kappa Pi. Trust me, I can't. <laughs> Same shit. Yeah, dude. Very, a whole lot of comparisons to be drawn between those things. Girls, I'm going to Harvard. You mean like on vacay? Let's all go! Go to Harvard on vacay? Go to Harvard for vacation. I know you're upset about all this, but can't you just take a Percocet? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? My name is Elle Woods. A video <laughs> essay. <laughs> I'm going to tell all of you at Harvard why I'm going to make wow. an amazing Wow. It has come to my attention that the maintenance staff is switching our toilet paper from Charmin Ooh, that's not one ply. That's ridiculous. We can't have that here. I feel like this is gonna get her in somehow. The dog is just chilling up on the table. I love how like supportive the her sorority is. Like everyone's yeah. just behind her for anything. I feel comfortable using legal jargon in every legal jargon. I object. <laughs> I object. Hearsay. Argumentative. All this for Warner. Dude's just a scum. That, yeah, just for that dickhead. Look at everyone, bro. Oh my god, L. L. Let's go! Yeah. She's in! She got into Hogwarts. She's yeah. in! She's going to be a wizard. Th I thought that was going to be way harder than that. Good job, Harry! You're she going to be it, a bro. wizard, Harry! You're going to be a wizard! <laughs> Oh, here's the video essay. It's them watching all it. all dudes. They're just like, yep. <laughs> yep, it's all dudes. <laughs> oh, dude, she sticks out yeah, like a sore dude. thumb. Okay, let's get you some water. She, yeah, does not fit in. Hey, Brad, check out Malibu Barbie. Where's the beach, honey? Yeah, we're fucking East Coast kids over here. Fucking get with the program. This is the part where we go around in a circle and everyone says a little bit. This is a crazy looking group. <laughs> yeah. uh, my name is David Kidney. <laughs> I have a master in Russian literature. David Kidney. He's like a colonist. For the last 18 months, I've been uh, deworming orphans in Somalia. What? Well, I guess that's a good thing, but good for you, bro. Aaron Mitchell. I graduated first in my class from Princeton at an IQ of 187. <laughs> <laughs> God. I suggested that Stephen Hawking stole his brief history of time from my fourth grade paper. Okay. 
I'm Elle Woods, and this is Freezer Woods, <laughs> and we're both Gemini vegetarians. <laughs> I have a bachelor's degree in fashion merchandise. That guy's crazy. David Kidney? Yeah. Two weeks ago, oh. I saw Cameron Diaz at Fred Siegel, and I talked her out of buying this truly heinous Angora sweater. Whoever said orange was the new pink was seriously disturbed. I feel like she's just gonna like do so good here. I actually think I just would like to watch a movie about David Kidney and stuff. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I feel like he's the main character, Loki. Oh, there is the dickwad. <sighs> Dude, he's gonna be mind blown. He's a douche. He looks good in that. I totally forgot you go here. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I, I'm sorry, are you here to see me? No, silly. I go here. Where? You got into Harvard Law? Of course. What, like it's hard? Oh my gosh, Warner, it's gonna be so great. I'm planning this great mixer. You totally have to help me. Dude's jaws on the ground. A legal education means you will learn to speak in a new Dude, language. Dude, I've tried to learn a new language multiple times. I just can't do it. I'm going to. I've tried to as well, but I'm going to eventually. Everyone has a laptop and she has a heart pad. For the next nine months of your life. The law is reason free from passion. Does anyone know who spoke those immortal words? <gasps> yes. Is that David? David Kidney. Aristotle. Is that him? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Elle Woods. Yeah. Oh. Um. Actually, um, I wasn't aware that we had an assignment. Vivian Kensington. Do you think it's acceptable that Ms. Woods is oh. prepared? Look at her smiling. No. Would you support my decision to ask her to leave class? And to return only when she is prepared? Absolutely. Oh, this chick's the villain. Absolutely. Get the fuck out. Oh my god. Oh, Kidney's not fucking with Dude, that Dave, one. David Kidney. Back her up here. Come on. Owen Wilson. No. Luke Wilson. Yeah. Is that Owen's brother? Yep. Wow. What's the matter? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Marley, you are such a good dog. Wow, we'll miss you, Marley. Wow. So you have Stromwell, huh? Yes. Did she do that to you too? No. But she did make me cry once. I mean, not in class. I waited till I got back to my room. But yeah, she'll kick you right in the ball. Yeah, or wherever. <laughs> I'm really glad I met you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad I met you. Hey. How was your first class? Oh, it was good, except for this horrible preppy girl who tried to make me look bad in front of the professor, but no biggie. Mm -hmm. Did you do anything exciting? Oh, oh. Vivian. Uh-oh. This horrible preppy girl. Have, uh, have you met the, the Viv Vivian? Oh, hi. Vivian Kensington. Vivian Kensington. I'm his fiance. Whoa. You got a ring already, bro. Fat rock. That's a fat rock. No, Dwayne. You're famous at our club. But he didn't tell me you'd be here. Pooh Bear. I... Oh, oh, nickname. I want to punch him in the face. Are you free? It's an emergency. Brother. <sighs> you can't even imagine. I just wish I had never gone to Harvard. After you went to all that trouble. Dewey kept the trailer and my precious baby Rufus. Oh. Rufus. Oh. No, dude. Not even a fucking birthday party? Hello, ladies. Oh, there he is, Mr. Owen. Thank you. Who? Luke. No. Nope. nope. <laughs> Just a different man. <laughs> See you later. Oh, he just like triple took her. Goddamn no. Would you rather have a client who committed a crime malum inse or malum pro? Oh, I have no idea what that means. Uh, for sure, inse. I mean, that's the easy answer. 
Neither. And why is that? I would rather have a client who's Oh, I like that answer. Fuck the laughing. Melon Told you. Oh. Because then the client would have committed a regulatory infraction as opposed to a dangerous crime. <laughs> You've obviously oh, showing that rock off. Why are you sitting right behind them? I changed my uh. I'd pick the dangerous one because I'm not afraid of the challenge. Oh, you that bitch. scares me. Is that the Pink Panther? Mm-hmm. Dude, I fucking love Bru Bruiser. Just chills. Yeah, Bruiser just I vibes. told just you. Really move. What did I tell you when we started this? I'm going to love that dog. And don't forget to bring your own Merlot. Don't forget to bring your own Merlot. Well, actually, yes, but it's a costume party. You probably wouldn't want to come. I love costume parties. Well, then I guess we'll see you there. Okay. Oh, that's sad. Is that not the right address, you uh, think? Oh my oh. god. Whoa. Costume party. That's not the right place. <laughs> not a costume party. Not a costume party. Thanks for inviting me, girls. This party is super fun. <laughs> nice outfit. When I dress up as a frigid bitch, I try not to look so constipated. Oh. Time to snap back. Damn. How you doing? She just has so much confidence, bro. I know. I mean, I'd she be looks good. I'd literally turn immediately out of the place. You wouldn't even have gone in until you knew that I people know. were in costumes. Are you having fun? I am now. What's, uh, what's with the costume? Oh, your fucking dumbass girlfriend told me to dress <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah. Come on, you're never gonna get the grades to qualify for one of those spots. You're not smart enough, sweetie. Oh my Whoa, god. Whoa! Okay, buddy. Go fuck yourself. I'm never gonna be good enough for you, am I? Hmm. I think you don't she, need him, Al. I think she just got on her revenge arc. Yeah, I think she's gonna get Villain great arc. Yeah. grades and get Mr. Luke. Show you how valuable Elwoods Woods can be, baby. Oh, you're already valuable. So valuable to my heart. There he is, there he is, there he is. What's she buying? Checking her out. Wow, did he just check her out? It's a MacBook. It's a crazy looking Mac. Damn, is he looking down. Eyes up here, bud. What next? Ms. Woods? Don't you need to have evidence? Meaning you need reasonable belief that your claim should have, like... Evidentiary support? Oh, that's correct. Of diminished capacity is. To negate mens rea? She's smarter than all of you guys. That's awesome. Oh, she's going on her arc. What the hell do you want? Rufus. We're eating lunch. We Maybe stop. I could. You just thought you could come here and show me what I'm definitely not missing? Oh. <laughs> I'm Elle Woods, Miss Bonifante's attorney. Nice. And I'm here to discuss the legal situation at hand. Do you understand what subject matter jurisdiction is? No. <laughs> Due to habeas Just purpose, using the jargon she mm -hmm. learned. Which, heretofore, Entitles her to what is legally referred It's like, to holy fuck, these are big words. Miss Bonifante is entitled to full canine property ownership and will be enforcing said ownership right now. Right now. She gets Rufus. Get some confidence, girl. Come on. I'm taking the dog. <laughs> Dumbass. Nice. There you go. Take that damn dog. <laughs> yes, Rufus. Rufus. Run away, we have baby Rufus boy. And Bruiser. Run away, baby boy. <laughs> He's so cute. Although Mr. Huntington makes an excellent point, I have to wonder if the defendant kept a thorough record of every sperm emission made throughout his life. Unless the defendant attempted to contact every single one night stand to determine if a child resulted in those unions, he has no parental <sighs> claim over this child whatsoever. Why now? Why this sperm? Oh, kidney. 
I believe you've just won your case. Oh. It's pink. Oh, and it's scented. I think it gives it a little something extra, don't you think? Okay, we'll see you next class. Yeah. Do you think she just woke up one morning and said, I think I'll go to law school today? Yes. Well, that lapse in judgment aside, I think she's got a lot of potential. They're just two peas in a pod this now. This friendship is... I'm living for this. Couple of besties. <laughs> yeah, like my body's over here. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. <laughs> His caseload is so big, he's taking on first year. Oh, yo. Oh, my God. I can't believe it, Warner. We got it. <laughs> yeah. Fucking... Let's go, baby. We got it. Oh, Woods. Oh. Oh, Enid Waxler was there too. I think that's the girl that doesn't like her. Me. <laughs> Do you remember when we spent those four amazing hours in the hot tub after winter formal? <laughs> this is so much better than that. Excuse me, I have some shopping to do. I fucking hate him. Huntington. Warner. Warner. I feel like these two are gonna get along at the end, and Huntington is just gonna be fucked. Warner? Yeah, but his last name's Huntington. First name's Warner, so. <laughs> Not calling her Woods, are we? Defending Brooke Window, whose very wealthy husband was found shot to death in their Beacon Hill mansion. She was rich on her own, some kind of fitness empire. You can buy her exercise tapes on infomercials. I bought hers. Wait, are, are you talking about Brooke Taylor? <laughs> you know her? She's a Delta New. Oh. She was in my pledge class, but she she graduated four years before me. But I used to take her class at the Los Angeles Sports Club. She's amazing. She killed her husband, so. She was seen standing over her husband's dead body. <laughs> By who? His 26-year-old daughter and the pool boy. Sorry I'm late. Oh, he's here. This is Emmett Richmond, another associate, top three in his class, and former editor of Harvard Law. So, he's goaded. Um, He's gonna like her, isn't he's gonna like her. So he's not even a student right now. No, I don't think. The murder weapon. The gun or he's in like grad school. Dude, he's such a Chad. He looks like looks like a Giga Chad. He might be a Giga Chad. I didn't do it. I walked in. I saw my husband. <laughs> Look how many people she has to talk to. I loved him. Mm. He was thirty four years older than you. That doesn't look so good to a jury. Then show them a picture of his dick. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> what, does that mean he had good dick? Guess so. Guess so. He had some good. I guess we're done for today. She's going to stay back and talk to her. I'm a Delta Nu. So you can talk to me. I know you. I'm a Delta Nu. And I'm a huge fan of yours. You took my class in L.A. Uh-huh. You have the best high kick I've ever Aww. seen. Aww. <laughs> well, thank God one of you has a brain. Mm. Other people are pretty smart, too. <laughs> I'd say they're all pretty smart, <laughs> yeah. Especially Giga Chad. I've got a package. Oh, yeah, you oh, do. <laughs> he's got a package. You got a sign for this package. Take this package. She won't even look She's at him. She's so nervous. Better now. Oh, hi. Take it easy. <laughs> oh, that was so great. <laughs> Imagine if um, L just wasn't there. How much more awkward that would have been. I'm gonna show you a little maneuver that my mother taught me in junior high. In my experience, it has a 98% success. Oh, rate what's this move? And when used appropriately. It has an 83% rate of return on... These are some pretty crazy statistics. Yeah. It's called the bend and snap. Oh, the bend and snap. The classic I bend kinda, and snap. I can kind of visualize it right now. I think I dropped something on the floor that I need to pick up. So you bend and snap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's iconic. Bend and snap, baby. Bend and snap. Oh. That was a tough first try. Dude, her fit is crazy. Uh oh. Good snap. They're gonna do like a dance. Bend and snap. 
and snap. Oh yeah, it's turning like some high school musical type shit. Yeah, that's. I just said that. Here we go. Ben, ben snap. Ben, he's snap. Ben, he's snap. Ben, he's snap. Ben and snap, baby. Come on. Everybody can bend and snap. We've all done it. Oh my god, the bend and snap works every time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that guy just reminded me of Zuff so much. So how are you? Are you alright? You look so... Orange. Orange is not the new pink. I thought that was a... The reason I came here. Professor Callahan says we really, really need your alibi. Oh. I can't. What's the alibi? No, that's just it. It would ruin me. Oh. Look, like it's not going to be that bad. He's getting like liposuction or something. I was getting liposuction. Let's go. Oh. Liposuction! Oh, God! No. I would lose everything. I mean, you're in jail. I mean, I mean yeah, you're in jail. I'd rather go to jail than lose my life. Oh, come on. Her lipo guy killed him. Your secret's safe with me. No, it's not. What? Don't you need to use that? What the hell do you mean you went to visit her? I went to get her alibi. Did you get it? Mm-hmm. It's really good. Well, great. Well, I can't tell you. Oh. <laughs> Why the hell not? Promised. Because I promised her I'd keep it a secret. I can't break the bonds of sisterhood. Screw sisterhood. This is a murder trial, not some scandal. At the sorority house, I want the alibi. But I can tell you, she is you trust source. Trust me. Just trust me. If you tell him, he'll probably hire you as a summer associate. Who cares about Brooke? Think about yourself. I gave her my word, Warner. You're a snake, Warner. It means not fucking with it. Fucking. Certified snake. Brooke would never tell a woman she's too fat. And she seems to me like she's hiding something. Then maybe it's not what you think. Maybe it's exactly what I think. You know, you're really being a butthead. A butthead? <laughs> Take that back. I can't believe you just called me a butthead. I mean, no one's you are a butthead. It's about the ninth grade. <laughs> maybe not to your face. Behind the back buttheads. So I hear that that little tart from California shot poor Hayworth. Well, that's what we're trying to prove didn't happen, actually. Do you have any reason to believe that it did? Well, I've never actually met the woman, but... Did your daughter ever mention anything to you about the relationship between Brooke and Hayworth? Well, she did say that they humped like gorillas. Yep, yeah, checks out. It wasn't enough, though, for Brooke. Uh, why do you say that? Haven't you seen the Cabana Boy? Enrique. I was thinking maybe we could go out sometime. No, you're a dork. Oh, David. <laughs> no. I can't believe you'd even ask. Girls like me don't go out with losers like you. What? Excuse me. Oh. Why didn't you call Oh. Uh, let's go. I... <laughs> I'm sorry? Sorry for what? For breaking my heart or for giving me the greatest pleasure I've ever known and then just taking it away. Kidney. <laughs> Thank you for helping, David Kidney. <laughs> I've already spent too many hours crying over you. He needed this. <laughs> greatest pleasure I've ever known. When did you want to go out? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, dude. Fucking congrats, David Kidney's Kidney. Look, he's getting hotter and hotter the more he get. I see him. David Kidney? Yeah. Why is she here? I work on the case. Yeah, here. Take it. I've heard it like 20 times. He's going to try to snake him, her. I don't know. He's a little genuine right now. You know, El, I still can't believe you didn't tell Callahan the alibi. It's not my alibi to tell. And I thought that was very... Classy of you. Really? Did you know when he first applied? He got waitlisted. What? His father had to make. Oh, uh oh. You're kidding. Mm -mm. <laughs>
He's spilling. Shit talking Warner. Let's go. Up in the T right now. Snap. Bruiser. Fucking just throw her out the window. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Look, she has a fun side. That was a good interaction. Uh, yeah. I just feel skeptical about it. You don't trust her? Yeah, like she's trying to get a sneak the alibi from her and then tell him. She didn't even ask for it. I know, but she's trying to get on her good side. And where was she exactly? Standing over my father's dead body. I can't wait to see the pool boy. Mr. Salvatore, Here he is. can you tell us what this is? My uniform. What? This? Is the uniform that Mrs. Wyndham asked you to wear while cleaning her pool? Yes. <laughs> oh, goodness. Are you, are you not having an affair with Brooke Wyndham? Define affair. Have you and Mrs. Wyndham had sexual relations? Yes. Okay. Oh. He was the killer. I already figured it out. Yeah, you should be the judge. You know what Delta knew. Exactly. I just like watching him clean the filter. I know. I believe you, Brooke. Take care of me, Al. I will. <laughs> what is that jacket she has on, bro? It was newspapers. Take care of me, Al. Oh, is it gonna be a fine or an okay today? Oh, she's gonna do the bend and snap. Yeah, bend and snap. Soft. You gotta show, show her how to do it. Do it. I got a big one for you. <laughs> big what? Package. We got a mm hmm. Bend and snap, bend and snap. He's like, uh. <laughs> oh. oh no. Our table. I dropped it. It's broken. <laughs> I got it. No. No. <laughs> He's snapping everything. Ah. Uh, I got it. Wow, she was. Dude, she bent. snapped way too hard. She was bent down picking it up and he bent down and said, I got it. That fit is crazy. Don't stomp your little last season Prada shoes at me, honey. Oh, wow. Damn. What is it? Brainstorm. Something about fashion, probably. He's gay. Enrique is gay. <laughs> Just because he knew that? He's gay. He is a Brooks lover. He's making it up. Back up. How do you know that he's gay? Gay men know designers. Straight men don't. This is so stereotypical. I'll take care of it. Thanks. Okay. Just give me a couple of minutes. Oh, go off. Did you ever take Mrs. Wyndham on a date? Yes. Where? A restaurant in Concord where no one could recognize us. And how long have you been sleeping with Mrs. Wyndham? Three months. And your boyfriend's name is Chuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Chuck. I was, uh, I was con confused. Oh. You see, I thought you said friend. Chuck is just a friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chuck. Chuck, wait. <laughs> Chuck's out of here, dude. Chuck's fucking gone. You fucked it up with Chuck. Silence Chuck's fucked. You chucked it with fuck. What? Whoa. He was right. That was she right. She was right. About the alibi. I'm sorry. I'm impressed but... that you took the initiative to go there and get it. That's what makes a good lawyer. And on top of that, you gained the client's trust and kept it. That's what makes a great lawyer. Mm hmm True. She's not a rat. Not a snitch. Have you thought about where you might be summer associate? Ooh. Oh, um, not really. I know it's very competitive. Well, you know what. Competition's really about, don't you? Connections. Networking. Knowing exactly what you want and how far you'll go to get it. How far will Oh Fuck no. no. Are you hitting on me? You're a beautiful girl. Oh fuck. So everything you just said? I'm a man who knows what he wants. Dude, all this time I liked them. Damn, dude. Just threw it out the window. You're a fucking scumbag. Dude. Uh -huh. Holy shit. That's so awful. I don't wish uh, Vivian like went in there yeah. and said something. You almost had me fooled. What? Well, maybe you should sleep with the jury too, then we can win the case. 
Vivian, you literally just saw her like 20 seconds ago. Yeah, but she well, left before. Yeah, but what do you think she... I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. All, she, all Vivian saw was hand on thigh. Kellyan only gave me that internship because he liked the way I looked. She made clear tonight when he tried to feel me up. Kellyan did what? So we're trying to be something that I'm just... I'm just not. What if you're trying to be somebody you are? Stay. Yeah, stay with me. Stay. Call me if you're ever in California, okay? Aww. He's gonna rip Callahan to shreds. Isn't he? This Isn't he? It's Giga Chad. Isn't he? No one's ever gonna take me seriously. People at law school don't. Warner does it. Fuck Callahan. I will beat the fucking shit out of that guy. I'd love to see that. <laughs> would you? I'd love to see that. What would you do? You can be more than that, L. No, I was just kidding myself. L, come on. He just saw me as a piece of ass. Just like everybody else. I feel like this girl is very little words. The hell with law school. I just wanted to say goodbye. If you're going to let one stupid prick ruin Am I supposed to know who this is? That's one of her professors. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. The one that kicked her out. Mm-hmm. You're not the girl I thought you were. Callahan is a stupid prick. You got that right, Miss Rosick. He is a stupid prick, though. Don't know if your name's Miss Rosick. It's not though. that. I, can, I, can <laughs> I tell promise you, you one thing not. that it's not that. If he doesn't trust me, why should I trust him? Hmm. Ask Elle. She looked pretty cozy with him last night. You know, you don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Ah, Damn. Shit. Elle quit. What? Yeah. Callahan hit on her, so she quit. My God. Vivian, shut your freaking mouth. Yeah, come on, let's <laughs> think for a sec. I feel terrible. I made a huge mistake. Yeah, you did. Maybe there's something we can do about it. What are we going to do? Testify against Callahan. Get up. What? You're fired. Oh, oh yeah. I have new representation. I wonder who it is, Uff. Who's here? Who's here? Elle. Tell me she has Bruiser. Oh, who's next to her? Oh, kidney! David Kidney's with her. Let's, Let's go! go. <laughs> I saw the new balances. I was like, oh, it's David Kidney. <laughs> David Kidney. Look at, them Look at this fucking squad. Excuse you, you're in my way. She's a law student. She can't defend you. Kidney. You're not going up there. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm sorry, maybe you didn't hear me. We were fired. Hit the road, okay. guy. Hit the road. Fuck out of here. Go back to the fucking Titanic. The ruling also states that you need a licensed attorney to supervise you. She has him right there. Mr. Callahan. That I won't agree to. Uh, I'll supervise, Your Honor. Yep. Emmett. Let's go. Callahan's Let's fucking kick do rocks, this shit. bud. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Oh, oh, they're here together. Broken nose, baby. <laughs> Dude. Oh, we're friends. Oh my God, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> they are not adjusted to the Harvard life yet. First of all, I would like to point out that not only is there no proof in this case, but there is a complete lack of um, mens rea, which by definition tells us that there can be no crime without a vicious will. Why you're giving me a vocabulary lesson when you should be questioning your witness? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Oh, I can't. I gotta like, watch, not watch the cringe part. All right, we're good. We're good. Come on. Was your father there? Not that I saw, but like I said, I went straight upstairs to take a shower. I'm pretty sure that's Velma from the Scooby Doo movies. Were there? Miss Wyndham. Confidence ground. Did you hear a shot fired? No, I was in the shower. Sometime in the 20 minutes that you were in the shower, your father was shot. Yes. Your father was shot while you were in the shower, but you didn't hear the shot because because you were in the shower? Where are we going with this? Where, what, what's going on here? Washing my hair. What had you done earlier that day? I got up, 
got a latte, went to the gym, got a perm, and came home. Mm. Well, you got in the shower? I believe the witness has made it clear that she was in the shower. You're not supposed to get a shower after a perm yeah, or something? Yeah, yeah, but... Had you ever gotten a perm before? Yes. How many would you say? Two a year since I was 12. Hmm. Oh, so you're very experienced. Girl in my sorority, Tracy Marcinko, got a perm once. <laughs> that same day, she entered the Beta Delta Pi wet t-shirt contest where she was completely hosed down from head to toe. Chenny, why is it that Tracy Marcinko's curls were ruined when she got hosed down? Because <laughs> they got wet? Exactly. Because isn't it the first cardinal rule of perm maintenance that you're forbidden to wet your hair for at least 24 hours after getting a perm at the risk of deactivating the ammonium thyglocalate? Let's go. Combining her two knowledges here. Anybody who's had, say, 30 perms before in their life be well aware. You would think, wouldn't you, Elle? You would really think so. <laughs> Because your curls are still intact, wouldn't you have heard the gunshot? And if oh. in fact you had heard the gunshot, Brooke Wyndham wouldn't have had time, which would mean that you would have had to have found oh. Mrs. Wyndham with a gun in her hand to make your story plausible. How would you feel if your father made Oh, uh, the story? truth. You, however, had time to hide the gun, didn't you, Chutney? After you shot your father. I didn't mean to shoot oh. you. Oh. was you walking through the door. Confession. Oh We're my good. gosh. Ding, ding. Case tried to closed, kill Brooke. baby. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. We did, it. We did it. Whoa! Whoa! Let's go! <laughs> this case is dismissed. We're good. Mrs. Wyndham, you're free to go. Let's go. L. Case closer. Oh, loser. bruises! <laughs> The order has to feel like a douche. Any Cosmo girl would have known. Any Cosmo girl would have known. That was amazing. You were so brilliant in there. And that I was wrong. And you are the girl for me. Too late, my friend. I love you. Fucking. Oh, oh gosh. I hate him, dude. But if I'm going to be a partner in a law firm by the time I'm 30, I need a boyfriend who's not such a complete bonehead. Wow. How the turns have tabled. You know, it's not a bonehead, Emmett. Emmett's not a bonehead. He fucking trusted her. Two years later, we got a time skip. I am personally very honored oh, this is uh, her teacher. Yep. This year's class elected speaker. Just said that. She graduates the speaker. Today, oh, class speaker. To join one of Boston's most wow. Law firms. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I thought they were going to say Vivian. <laughs> no words. Oh, she looks good. She looks very sophisticated. Distinguished. Yeah. David Hood. David Kidney. What'd you say? I said David. A very wise professor quoted Aristotle. And David oh, Kidney yeah. recognized it. The law is reason free from passion. She looks so beautiful. It is with passion, courage of conviction, and strong sense of self that we take our next steps into the world. Remembering that first impressions are not always correct. Vivian! I'm in! I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Congratulations, 2004, baby! 2004! This was fucking... Let's go! Let's go, class! This was 18 years ago. Quick math, huh? Shout out Vivian. Hey, nice. they're best friends now. Let's nice. go. That's what you deserve. Aww. Aww. That's so uh, sweet. That's a little odd to me, but <laughs> congrats to them. Nice. He's got his own shit about now. Callahan. Nice. Way to go, Emmett. I have the chills. Girl, I'm gonna go cry. fucking. Go I'm gonna girls. cry. Girls do get it done. I'm gonna cry. Shout out the boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not the perfect day again. Oh, he's proposing. Nice. Tonight. That's that's sick. That's full circle. That's all she wanted at the beginning. You think she's gonna say yes? Yeah.
All right, guys. Well, that was Legally Blonde. What did you think of it? I really like that movie. Yeah. Actually, yeah, it's 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 really fun. Uh, it's a good time watching it. They really um made you think that she was gonna be stupid with the title, but she was really quite smart. Harvard yeah. Harvard Law student. To be fair, she wasn't the brightest at the beginning, but she became. I mean, she was definitely smart in her own yeah, field. In her field, yeah. But the I mean, field she... to get her man wasn't the field she was too uh, versed in. But she, she did, got it done. She did pretty well on her LSATs right away. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be much harder to get into Harvard. It was like a five-minute montage of her studying, <laughs> yeah. and she's in. Fuck Callahan. What a perv. Fuck Warner, bro. Who do you dislike more? Callahan. Warner Call- yeah, me too. I think he's a bitch. Who? Callahan. Callahan. Yeah, I mean, that's just fucked up. That guy's a piece of shit. Yeah, I think Elle's character progression from, like, the beginning of the movie to the end is, like, it's, it's night and day difference. Yeah, like, she's, she's a totally awesome. different person. She's and I, awesome. I, I thought it was so funny, like, speaking on her character progression, her friends coming to her uh, trial there, and yeah. they're just the same people. It's yeah. like... You get, like, there's kind of a sh- little judge there's a jury it's so cute it's like you can tell like how much she's grown just yeah. by like being like wow she was literally just like one them. of them yeah but her old self her old personality is what ended up catching the flaw in um that girl's story what was win him windham miss windham yeah uh, l's l's like knowledge mm-hmm. of like yeah her past beauty. self yeah the fashion the beauty yeah. stuff mm-hmm. that helped perm her, uh, can't take perms for can't wash your hair when yeah. you have 24 burn. hours mm-hmm. yeah. and then she goes why'd you shoot him and he goes i didn't mean to shoot she really she wanted to shoot her uh brooke she got that confession she nice. coughed up the bag there what's your boyfriend's name chuck <laughs> mm-hmm. she coughed up the bag and speaking of chuck um emmett's the one who made him convince or confess and emmett is going to propose to uh yeah. l here coming she soon. wanted from yeah. the beginning i'm uh i'm glad that Vivian and Elle became friends in the end because, like, we, we saw, like, throughout the movie, Vivian wasn't, like, a total awful person. Mm, she was pretty poopy. I mean, she was bad, but she, she was, was a bit jealous. I yeah, think. she was being manipulated by that dude in fucking... Warner. Yeah. To be fair, you're a girl and you start dating some guy at Harvard and can come to find out his ex-girlfriend, who's a fashion major in Cali transferred you might i feel like you'd be a little standoffish right Wait, like, type, some type of way about that yeah but she might have been a bit excessive and like too blunt or whatever but i'm glad they're friends too shout out uh david kidney yeah. oh yeah He's don't even get me started he on got railed by uh that girl yeah that she set him up yeah l l set him up oh my goodness yeah I love David Kidney is the unsung hero of this movie. Yeah. Every time he was on the screen, it was a ten out of ten performance mm-hmm. by him. Elle's probably gonna end up working for Emmett's firm that he opened. Just like thinking back at the beginning when uh, Warner was saying to her like how he can't be with with her because like West Coast, East Coast. Like, yeah, and she's like, and I was like kind of thinking like, oh, it's I feel like it's not that different. And then like come to like when she gets there at Harvard, just how much she stood out. Yeah, and, like how normal totally it was different. back home. It well, she was, was like night and day. Literally dressed like Barbie. Yeah, but that's how they dressed back there. I thought it was like awesome too how she was so like out there and like confident and stuff. And like usually that comes with like um, people like not liking you or t- like talking behind your back. But all of her sorority sisters like fucking loved her. Loved yeah. her. So like that kind of speaks on her character too. How she was like like out there but still like a good like a really good person too mm-hmm. so. Elle Woods is like one of the most confident movie characters ever bro yeah she just walked into that costume party full bunny outfit she looked Didn't really nice in that Paulette got uh married to the UPS man luckily happily uh they're having a kid and they're naming it Elle Woods <laughs> bit, bit weird bit weird I think they're just naming it L. yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. not Elle Woods <laughs> changing its last name but yeah, like I said I, I've seen it before but it's been a really long time I there was definitely some stuff that I like caught on watching it like now that i'm older that i didn't would get you, what would you say like give us some comparisons like, there, there was one there was one thing that Elle said she, her like admission video she was like i even had my admission video directed by a coppola yeah i didn't get that one the, the Co- francis ford coppola directed the godfather so <laughs> pretty big name i think it's kind of crazy though how the thing she went out to do just to get her boyfriend back is coincidentally the thing she like fell in love with and did as a career. Like I feel like yeah. going from one like it's one thing like it's so extreme going from fashion to law school. Law school. I feel like you could easily just be like, wow, this is not for me. But luckily she did like she found love. She in thrived her, yeah. in it. 
All right, guys. Well, that is pretty much it for Legally Blonde. That was a really good film. I think we all really enjoyed it. Like we said, that was highly requested for a while now since we started doing movies. So I'm glad we got around to it. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check the links in the description. The first one is the Patreon. The full watch along for all these movies are up on there, as well as some early access, especially to the rest of the movie weeks. I don't know how many are going to be left as this is posted, but there's definitely going to be a few. Um, check the pinned comment. The rest of the movies will be linked down there. The second link is the Discord. Make sure to join that and come talk to us. We're always in there talking to you guys. We've got a great community. We'd love to talk to you about some Legally Blonde. So yeah, second link, like I said, the third link is our merch. If you guys want to go cop some of that, we got some cool sweatshirts, shirts, stickers, mugs, support the brand. We really, really appreciate that. And the last links are our social medias if you want to give us a follow. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll see you guys next time for the next movie we do. Peace. Peace.